never knew deep down I was creating a monster. A monster that would be successful, but yet be in need of external validation. And be so deep into My name is Barry Salkis and in this channel we talk about photography and filmmaking. Let's go back down memory lane. When I started to upload content on the internet, I was so naive. I even had some hair. I just wanted to create and nothing else mattered. I didn't care about the likes, the follows, but as I gained more experience, that kind of became a way to measure success. I never knew deep down I was creating a monster. A monster that would be successful, but yet be in need of external validation and be so deep into overstimulating social media content. Let's talk about danger number one. Validation. Validation in the context of social media refers to seeking approval. People often seek validation on social media because it proves a sense of acceptance and belonging. It will also boost self-esteem and create a perception of popularity or influence. The number of likes, followers, or comments on a post can serve as a measure of social validation. Validation on social media is deeply connected to the fundamental aspect of human psychology, such as the need for recognition, acceptance, and belonging. It's dangerous because everyone loves to be accepted and feel like they are part of something and are liked. Social media with a click of a button can give you just that. The more you do it for the wrong reasons, the more you want to do it for the wrong reasons. Have you ever had random moments during the day where out of nowhere you just wanted to upload something? You rush to your phone and you upload something without even knowing what you're actually doing it. You are subconsciously telling yourself that you lack validation and you want people in the internet to give you that. Let's get to the solution for the danger number one. As an artist, a creator, you may not need that validation on a personal level. You may have a loving partner, a family, a group of friends who just like you for who you are. You might be happy with your own skin. However, when you are so motivated and ambitious, your art becomes a part of you. So when your art does not get the likes, the comments, you take it personally. It's a little trick your mind pulls on you. Just like if someone wants to critique your work, they are not critiquing your personality. For the case of validation, the solution is easy, but it needs frequent reminders. Split your work and who you are. Always remind yourself that your work does not represent you as a person as a whole. I don't know, tie a ribbon around your finger to remind you or get a tattoo or something, I don't know. Now that was the first problem. We have another danger to defeat soldier. Danger number two. Overstimulation. Overstimulation refers to the state of being overwhelmed, mentally exhausted, and stressed due to excessive exposure to social media platforms. It almost feels like sugar crash, minus all the delicious sugar you've had that resulted in the crash. The constant stream of information, notifications, and messages on social media can create a sense of FOMO, fear of missing out. And this can lead to addictive behaviors, which can ultimately lead to burnout and massive negative impacts impacting your creativity, causing really tall, super tall creative blocks. Every rise has a fall, but when it comes to stimulation, the fall can be so heavy on you. It is so important to not overdo it. Let's say you put yourself into a situation where you're clearly addicted. You are overstimulated. Any bored second you have, you grab your phone. You're in the elevator, you look down to your phone. You're in the line for coffee, you look down to your phone. Any blank second you have, you've got social media filling that moment for you. As a creative, you need to feel bored. Boredom will make you more creative because you will start thinking. Boredom makes you think outside of the box to try new things. So if you're trying to stimulate yourself when you're supposed to be doing nothing and trying to build creative ideas, the stimulation really blocks your creativity. And even worse, you wake up in the morning and grab your phone right away. At that second right there, you are just seeing if people validated you while you were sleeping. And if you don't get the answer you're looking for, you consume content to comfort yourself. Now, overstimulation is a lot easier to deal with compared to validation, which was danger one. Dealing with overstimulation just requires a bit of discipline. Now, let's recognize the danger, the threat. It feeds off our first weakness, which is seeking validation. What the overstimulation danger does step by step is, first of all, it makes you think there could be 
need validation for you on your phone. And if there is no validation in there, it likes it. Because now you need to replace that validation with consumption. And of course, it knows what you like. And it always shows you successful content in terms of metrics. So you start comparing yourself to others. So you feel bad about yourself, but you can't stop consuming. Here's the thing, the enemy at this point has a weakness. After all these steps, you can have two ways to think. Either defeat it and consume more, or motivate it. Throw your phone to the side and go on with your day. If you choose to be motivated, the enemy loses. Simple as that. But that step of throwing your phone away requires a specific level of discipline. One of those days, I felt motivated and never went back in the same hole. If you are in the habit of overstimulating, the first thing you need to do is build daily routines. Design your mornings, afternoons, and evenings. And guess what? Stick to them. I think morning and evening routine is the most important one here. As the morning routine has the power to shape up your day, an evening routine will shape up your sleep. There are so many different ways of building routines. If you are curious about my routine, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about that. But one thing I don't do is grab my phone first thing for social media. However, I don't have an alarm clock in my bedroom. That's a problem. So I'll grab my phone to check my time. And rarely, sometimes I'll trick myself into going into social media when I'm supposed to just check for the time. So that's gotta stop. Alarm clock is on the way, no excuses. Also, if you don't have hobbies outside of your regular routine, overstimulation from social media can easily affect you. In my case, my biggest hobby, photography and video, is also my job. So I'm always on the lookout for new hobbies and interests to create a healthier balance. The key is to fill your schedule with different activities or leave some time for yourself where you can practice being alone or meditate. It's important though, when you find new hobbies, they're not acting as a stimulation because that's essentially the same thing as scrolling down your phone. Whatever it is, you can't overdo it. When you build hobbies and new interests, this helps you avoid getting overwhelmed by constant stimulation and you can find more fulfillment in life. So to summarize the video, there are dangers to social media. We all know it. It may make you feel like you need validation. The key here is to separate your work and your personality. And it's your work that requires the validation. But that's wrong too. Your creation, your art should be for you. That validation needs to come from you. Are you happy with your work? Did you do give it all. Another danger is that it is easy to fall into habits of overstimulation with social media. Take a look at the situation from outside. What blank spot is social media filling in your your life. Fill those blank spots with routines and hobbies. And that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do enjoy videos about photography and filmmaking, feel free to subscribe. I mean, no one is stopping you. Comment and like the video and give me the validation I need so I come back here quicker. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.